Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. You know what? I like the first one better. All right. Um, time for your studio update. Let's take a look around. Uh, first item is uh, sometime today or over the weekend, we're going to have this stuff getting set up in the alternate um, color schemes. Uh, we're doing a, um, this is a industri uh, dark industrial. Uh, there's another one that's going to be called uh, clean futuristic, uh, which will be a, a gray and white, very clean, uh, obviously. And then uh, the third one is going to be called rusted out. And uh, so I'm excited to see how those, uh, how those turn out. And uh, you can purchase sets of this. It's uh, for a table's worth. I need a certain range in your budget. And uh, I basically, if you decide to do it that way rather than a la carte, I guarantee a slightly better deal for that. So anyway, kind of got distracted on that. Uh, we're doing a Studio Space Wolves Army. Uh, I don't really know that much about it, except for the, the guys in assembly uh, just put this together, and here it is in painting. The Turvagons, check it out. They now have Valkyrie-sized bases on them, so they, they're definitely, they definitely stay up uh, better now. Uh, and they, they look a little bit more proportionate, a lot more proportionate. Um, also, I did uh, three Carnifexes for the uh, Fungus Nids. Uh, they have the uh, spine banks on them, which gives them uh, the equivalent of assault grenades. And uh, they also got uh, repositioning of the arms, so they have uh, some uh, more dynamic posing on there. And one of them is not like the others. He has a slightly thicker tail, so he's like uh, the alpha of the pack. Uh, even though there's no rules for that, I thought that was a lot of fun. And uh, so now that I have these painted up, I'm pretty much undefeatable. Hey, John, what are you working on? Uh, Empire. And, and a lot of Empire, too. Huh? Witch Hunter Empire, yeah, very cool. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. All right, Jordan, your turn. What's Got going on? Awesome Dark Eldar here. Got to do artistic license, so I got to pick my own color scheme on them. It's fantastic. I think the cockpit is making that. Oh, here's a finished one. Mm -hmm. And is this where it's magnetized? Yeah, the crew are magnetized. Oh, that's on very the side. slick. Yeah, you can't really see that magnetized point very well in the foot either. That's clever. Oh. That's really so. Uh, in the game, you can tell if they're embarked or disembarked. Basically, there's a, actually a unit in there. That's fantastic. All right, thanks. How about you, Stallion? Uh, doing some artistic license, Grey Knights. Ooh, and they're like red, yep. red and beat up. Red, a little scratched up, and then uh, their heraldry, instead of being red, black, and white, is going to be black and white. Okay. So. That's fantastic. Pretty, pretty fun. I think they're, yeah, I'm liking them. All right, liking them thanks. All right, Dean. Now, I told you about wearing your hair down. <laughs> it really freaks me out. That's just because it turns you on and it's scaring you. <laughs> The video, Dean. All right, so what are you working on, Stead? I didn't even see anything. I just turned in two projects, so I'm oh, actually good. cleaning brushes for I like, the next uh, one. I like this whole arrangement here you got. It's really good. So it's by color. Yep. Right? Well, that's that's pretty amazing. That's like 80 paints. There. Is that the repertoire for BTP now? All but one, yeah. 80 paints. I'm only missing one. That's not even 80. Out of the there. list. 60, 9, 9, 9, 6 times 6. Yeah, you're right. That's about 60. All right. Hey, thanks. Janine is in, and the manic is in. Here it is. This is our, uh, what's it called? The order that we made. Christmas in October. Iron Belcher. Now, you know what interests me? Are these, uh, these kits where, you know, I have like the weakest fingernails. All right. So uh, what interests me is kits that make two things. Because I'm always like, well, what's left over then from the other part? <gasps> Look at this, four sprues. Kablam. So and what interests me about ogres is if, you, if the, pl the plastics have these great ogre guys on them, and each one of those could make a hero, that's like 250 points. 
so, okay, so this one makes a cannon or a scrap launcher. So look at all these little nobblers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if you make the iron blaster, you get the extra nobblers. So there's something already. You could probably make a whole unit out of the extras from that once we do enough of them. Here's the horns that go up the side. Uh, by the way, the noise in the background is the zombie game that they're playing every Friday. Oh, look at this. Here's another horn. Oh, here's the giant cannon. The Sky Titans, whatever it is. So, uh, and then uh, the Rhinox. So you either get an extra ogre or six extra nobblers. All right, let's move on. Pyrovore? Yes, I'm feeling pyrovores in my uh, Tyranid army. Pyrovore. Pyrovore, three. Going to drop that into my Setic Spore Pod and blast things up. Uh, oh, so by the way, two studio armies being formed now. The Tyranids, the Fungus Nids, and the Ogres. 3,000 points of Ogres coming, by the way. Two Zoanthropes, now in uh, fine cast. Hive Guard. Hive Guard. Oh yeah, this is happening. Hive Guard. Janine's smiling because she knows how excited I am to get my <laughs> new Tyranid guys. Zoanthrope. Hive guard, so it's going to be six uh, hive guard, all told, and six zoanthropes. Here's more of those, three more, and um, three uh, pyrobores. Here's an Astarath the Grim, that's for a client. Here is a Brag the Gutsman. This is going to be an ogre hero for our thing. I actually think he'd make a great butcher or a battle standard bear and actually with his uh, thing that could easily uh, convert into a staff his uh, weapon really. so uh, more for the studio tyranids have some gargoyles some armor gaunts we've got uh, more armor gaunts uh, as you know I sold part of that army I sold 30 armor gaunts so I'm actually replacing them I'm going to do the gargoyle head conversion on them which by the way you can't get that. We only have the extras because over the last two years we've made so many shrikes that we have like 70 gargoyle bodies left over from those. So uh, I got these raveners, but really we're just going to use the bodies for other conversions and to have them on hand because we, uh, we always need those. Here's more Agras, Mornfang Cavalry, which apparently are really super. And, yeah, I'm one of those pathetic guys that goes on the Internet and is like, you know what, somebody else just tell me what's good. But uh, funny how people have different opinions. Two different types of veterans, both fine cast. There you go. And uh, Dark Eldar, lots of them. Witches, Kabbalite warriors, and Venoms. Put those in a stack. Aha! Golgfag. The uh, unfortunately named, uh, that's the ogre hero. I'm using one as a tyrant for the studio army. And this is for somebody else. Oh, but we got another one. So this is an extra one. By the way, if you're interested in the studio ogre army, just uh, drop me a line because uh, I'm going to make it, do a few bat reps with it, and uh, you could uh, claim dibs on that more and more thing, cavalry. <clears throat> it's too bad these don't come three per thing. Oh, by the way, I wanted to show you one. A client sent one of these, mostly completed. Um, so this is how big this thing is. Isn't that huge? And the base it comes on is like this monstrosity. Where is it? I don't know where it is. Anyway, what was really cool is if you look at the bottom, it has like fur hanging off. But it's not just one or two layers. It's like this is designed so well that it has this amazing three-dimensionality to it. I think that's a real word. Like, look at the tail. See how it curves? That's just, and like, from the top, what a great sort of shape this thing have. It has. Uh, it's really super. I think I'm in love with this kit. I was hoping that you could make the two different options for it, but as far as I can tell, that is not in the cards the way this is set up. I think you have to kind of really redo the entire head area. But if it can be done, we are gonna we are gonna magnetize this to make another option. 
So, uh, all right, uh, here's more Dark Eldar. Is this for a trade, or is this a... Oh, it's a stu It's an army we're doing mm -hmm. for somebody. A couple of uh, raiders there. And, uh, oh, here they are. So the studio... Okay, so studio ogres. Here's the problem. Typical game is 2,500 points, right? So that means you have 625 points for your rare choices. Well, these things, of which I want one of each, I want a stone horn and a thunder tusk, uh, are 250 each. And the iron blaster kit, which I opened, if this were 125, it would be perfect. You could have this and that and this and still be in your rare allotment. Oh no, this is 130. No way to alter the points. So it's basically five points away from uh, being so you can get three things. So, uh, however, what you can do is you can put a hunter on one of these, and that moves this to the hero slot or the uh, lord slot, and then you can have these two items as your thing. So when you're putting together an army, you got to be careful that you can use everything in your army. Of course, past a certain point, that really doesn't matter because then you're just in it and you have options uh, to what you're doing. Or play giant battles. And uh, Warhammer Fantasy is because if you got 3,000 points worth of guys and you're using them and your opponent agrees, then, oh, now you do have 750 for your rares and that actually works quite nicely. Another uh, raider, I think it is. Yep. And a couple of Space Marine items. And... Uh, that's uh, what we have for the order today. Weather bodes ill. Yeah, it does. Or marvelous if you depending on how you look at it, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't mean that it's bad here and good there, right? Sorry, first you guys. Yeah. I kinda like the brain actually. Yeah. Awesome. So that's why thank you. Well, you know, I've been I've been grilling here for Almost a year. <laughs> Total my life. <laughs> I said a friend teach me how to grill steaks. Mm, Flashback about what? So good. How good the food is. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, it was about, it was like 12 hours away. So you're a miracle. Ready is a miracle. I know.